A 62-year-old Caucasian woman was first diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia of the B-cell lineage in July 2002. She showed marked leukocytosis with a white blood cell WBC count of 43.35 times 109 per liter, 82% lymphocytosis, accompanied by slight anemia, hemoglobin 11.1 grams per deciliter, and a platelet count of 129 times 109 per liter. Flow cytometric immunophenotyping of peripheral blood identified a CD5, CD19, CD20, CD23 positive clonal B lymphocyte population with kappa light chain expression. A chromosomal fluorescence and cytohybridization FISH analysis revealed DEL14Q32. Upon this first presentation, the patient's general conditions were good. There was no peripheral lymphadenopathy or hepatosplenomegaly detectable. Hepatic and routine laboratory parameters were in the normal range. Plasma proteins as detected by electrophoresis and immunofixation were without pathological findings. Therefore, a watch and wait approach was chosen. Upon re-evaluation in December 2002, a lymphocyte doubling time of less than six months was found. The patient had developed splenomegaly and cervical as well as axillary lymphadenopathy. The patient received five courses of chlorambucil until May 2003, but did not show significant regression of tumor lesions. Leukocytosis and non-hemolytic anemia further deteriorated, accompanied by a 10% weight loss. Platelet counts remained normal at this time. Administration of packed red cell transfusions was necessary. Fludarabin monotherapy was started in June 2003. After the first cycle, the patient developed fever, a secondary antibody deficiency, and a Coombs positive severe anemia without detectable hemolysis. In addition, protracted thrombocytopenia developed. The patient became transfusion dependent for erythrocytes and platelets. Upon immunoglobulin substitution, the therapy with chlorambucil was reassumed. Under this regimen, the CLL progressed to Bennett stage C with subtotal bone marrow infiltration by mature lymphocytes with almost no residual hematopoietic activity. Bone marrow aspiration showed subtotal bone marrow infiltration with displacement of normal hematopoiesis. At this time, a combination chemotherapy was started. After the first cycle, the thrombocytopenia did not improve and the patient experienced a retinal bleeding. Considering the remaining therapeutic options and the risks of any further aggressive chemotherapy in a severely pancytopenic patient, rituximab monotherapy was started. During, during this therapy of intensified rituximab, the patient became transfusion-free. Twelve weeks after the first dose of rituximab, anemia abated to a hemoglobin level of 9.5 grams per deciliter, platelet count progressively rose, and leukocyte and leukocyte count decreased. This regimen was sustain, sustained 20 times until November 2005. During this therapy, the hematopoiesis recovered completely with the hemoglobin level reaching 11.9 grams per deciliter, a WBC count of 4.38 times 10 to the power of nine per liter, and a platelet count of 1.38 times 10 to the power of nine per liter. Both the, lymphaden both the lymphadenopathy as well as the splenomegaly regressed completely. Over the entire term of maintenance therapy, treatment of pulmonary infections by oral antibiotics became necessary three times but could be performed at the outpatient level. Prognosis, chronic lymphocytic leukemia of the B-cell lineage.